Hello, welcome to Tori's cha sewing challenge number two. Um, I already recorded this, but my computer crashed. If you watch the regular podcast, you know that it, I lost it. A hard drive went and that was it. So I have to re-record this, which is okay. All right. So this uh, next little bag we're going to do actually requires two pieces of fabric. I have this little scrap that I found. It's not in any way, shape, or form square, but hey, we got this. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that your material is square. This one is not. Remember, I'm using scraps. You can do it the old fashioned way. You know, make sure one is straight, move this one over, and then, you know, cut along that edge. You can use the guides on your mat. You can, um, my favorite, take a piece of paper, get your square the size you want it, and then put it down here and trace it as a pattern. Uh, it is what it is, but for the all intents and purposes, I am just going to, uh, first I'm going to make sure that my sides are straight here. So basically, I'm going to cut one good side. And I'm just going to take this and make it straight. So I now have this edge over here straight. Now I'm going to take my square. I'm going to use this to line up. I am literally going to just cut this into a square. Maybe. I also need to uh, I don't know that that's even because I'm going to take a little off of this too. Um, a little bit of top here. Yeah, not exactly square. Eleven and a half. Honestly, I hate that I'm seeing the other lines through there. It drives me crazy. So, yeah. Uh, so I got a little on this side. So we're going to take it. It's about 11 and a half. Is about eleven and a half. So take off this one. All right. So we have our looks like eleven and a half inch square. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I prefer to have this piece perfect because I don't fuss a lot with this other piece. So I'm going to lay my thing down here. I'm going to put right sides together. So put your fabric with the yucky sides together, or pretty sides together, I'm sorry. Now, this is just a scrap, but it's a little bit big and I wanna take it down as long as it's, you know, I don't put any thought into this piece because I'm actually going to use this piece as a guide. So I'm going to this, just going to take it off and make it a little more manageable. Not even holding my thing flat here, as you can tell. 
I have strings I missed. Dang it. Boy, today is a fussy day for Selma. I'm not getting. I did not cut through on that at all. Okay. So let's see if I can do better on this other side. And basically, I just want it, you know, enough that we can. Uh, that it'll be, it needs to be, if you want to do both perfectly, that is fine, um, but I don't, I just do two squares, okay, so the bottom square, don't care, not a big deal, it is just our lining, okay, so you want one of these to be nice and square, we're just going to put it on there, doesn't matter, I'm going to stick a couple of pins in it, okay, and then we're going to take it over the sewing machine, and we're literally just going to sew everywhere with these two spots. Um, so you'll have an opening at this spot right here, so you're going to... Oops. Boy, I'm having definite trouble today. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just the rainy weather or what, but it is what it is. All right, so I've got them stuck together, which is good. Now, when you go over to the sewing machine, you're going to sew from this pin to this pin. Okay, so you'll start here and you'll go around like so. Now, there's two things that we're going to learn on this um, bag. One is uh, we're going to just keep it straight because remember we made our blue piece super straight, right? We're going to put this on the edge of the foot. We're just going to line it up with the foot. We're not going to look at gauges. We're not going to look at anything. We're just going to put it on the edge of the foot and we are going to sew it all the way around. The other thing that we're going to learn is how to turn a corner. You're going to leave your needle in the down position. You're going to lift the foot and you're literally just going to rotate the material. Now, it does take a little bit of guessing to get it, you know, are you close enough, are you not, and in the beginning you will literally hand spin yours to get it to where it needs to be so it looks about straight, or about even. Okay, so let's take this over to the sewing machine, and I will show you what I mean. Okay, so here we are at the sewing machine. I've got my needle threaded, all that stuff. Now we're going to look at our pins. Here's our first pin. We're going to sew across here. And I'll slow down when we get to the corners. All right. So I start in a little bit. Hit that reverse button. Back up. Pull out. You don't want to sew over your pins. Um, so they'll mess up your needle and stuff. All right. So. We're coming to our first corner. I've taken this kind of slow. I'm going to guesstimate the width of this side of the foot. I'm going to put my needle in the down position. I'm going to lift my arm, and I'm literally going to spin it. Then you're going to put it down. Okay. Then you're going to use that foot just to guide along the edge here until you come to the next corner. And once you get up there, you guess looks about right. Turn. This is something you will get better at as time goes. Okay. Just remember to let the machine do the work. Let that machine pull that fabric and don't pull it or push it you're just guiding it okay all right now i'm coming back up to my second pin so i've done all four of my corners 
and I'm just going to remember to back stitch right here. Okay. All right, and that's all we're going to do for right now here at the machine. I'll take it back over the table and show you what we're going to do. Okay, so we're back over here at the table. We're going to take our little pins out that we had to hold it. Now, there are a couple things you want to do because we're going to turn this and we don't want a bunch of bulk inside because you literally will be able to feel it and see it. So we're going to take our little thing here. First thing we're going to do is take off all this extra. And there goes the iron again. So, take off. What have I done? I guess I'm not pressing hard enough. I don't know what the deal is here. Okay, so we're going to try it again. There it goes. Alright. So, if I can do this, I'm literally putting the uh, seam that you can see. I can see it on my quarter inch, and then I'm just cutting this all the way. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you don't definitely don't want to cut your seams, but we're going to go all the way across here. Now I'm going to do these three sides. When you're doing this side for the opening. Um, I want you to leave a little more where the opening is, and I'll show you why. Okay, especially when you're learning to sew. So here's my opening, and I am going to take this piece down just a little bit, you know, so that you can see. I think it's about time for a new rotary blade. This is getting on my nerves. Okay, so here's your quarter inch allowance, okay, or whatever it is, whatever your foot is wide. So this is going to be the opening. I'm literally going to take this and snip it right there and snip that right there just up to the blue edge. And I'm going to leave that piece, and then I'm just going to cut off the white that's on the other side and I will show you why and I do this with everyone that I teach beginning sewing to because the next thing I want you to do is turn this down and iron it and this gives you a little bit more of a flap to really get in there and line up so that you know you're getting enough uh, that you're going to sew over. All right, so we're going to sew this over. We're going to pull this hem down. And I'm only going to do this for the opening. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this and doing it all the way around, you know. Uh, it's just to help get and to make sure that you've got this iron so that when you sew, you're actually sewing that. Uh, thing that we're going to turn and making sure we've got that good and secure okay because we're literally going to do it in another seam so we're going to turn this down turn that down and go ahead and iron it um, I'm not going to spend too much time on it but I want to make sure that I've got both my, this is my opening, and I've got both these turned under and ready to sew across from that little nip to that little nip. I know there's an opening, and that's the part I'm concentrating on. 
Okay, so I've got that. Not going to worry that it's scooped or whatever. It'll, it'll work itself out. All right, the other thing we have to do is we're going to nip off these corners. I'm just using my little nippers. And that is so that your uh, corners won't have so much bulk in them. And it will uh, lay flat. Sorry, I'm listening to the dog outside. It's, he's right outside the door. Okay, so I've nipped my corners. And I just use my nippers. A lot of times I use my rotary. I've got all my pins out. And I've got my opening done. Now it's time to turn it. Okay, so you're just going to turn this inside out and give this corner a good push. Now I have different tools that can help you do the corners. I've got, um, when I first started, my granny made me use a pencil. She said the eraser was soft enough that it wouldn't like poke through and stuff. Right here, I'm just using my finger because this is just a bag. I'm not, I don't have to have pristine corners. I don't have to have, you'll see why here in a few minutes. This is one of the very, uh, really good uh, beginner patterns because you learn all about these things, but yet it doesn't have to look perfect. All right, now where we folded our stuff back, if you'll look, it now is ready to sew across and close. So, and I will give you a hint, my uh, material is kind of thin, so you can see where I left that flap a little longer. Not going to make a difference in the end, but, you know, that's why you shouldn't do it that long. But again, we're learning. This is, all right. So, once you get that done, you're going to sew, sew. You're going to press this. And once you get it pressed, we're going to take it back over to the sewing machine for the final sew. All right. Now, we're not quite done pressing it just yet. Okay, because I want to show you all the magic, the trick where the magic happens. Okay, so we're done with that. We have this. We have our... Uh, opening which is going to be sewed across when we do this last little stitch and basically we're just going to go around the edge now what's going to make the difference is we are going to what did I say this was 11 and a half um no oh, let's see here yeah, 11 and three quarters so we're going to take and divide it by three when I say we're going to turn our corners in about three inches. So I'm going to take this and you can mark three inches with chalk on this side and three inches with chalk on this side. Okay, and then turn it down. I'm going to use my mat and just do it this way because it's super simple. Three, three. There we go. And I'm going to press that. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to do three inches. Oops. Right, there's that. So I'm literally going to take this, put it in the corner. Here's my three inch. There's my three inch. You can also eyeball this. Now that I've seen it, I really think I should go four inches. So we're going to take it in just a little bit more. Um, and it just depends on what you like, okay? It's not a big deal if you go three inches and then you don't, you'll see. It, it's really not that big a deal, okay? Um, so this is my four inch. This is my three inch. I'm going to redo my three inch. Pull that down an inch. So you can mark it however. You can play with it to see how you want it to be. Um, and all you want is all four corners. I got that one way off. What am I doing? Let me 
Okay. Take my far cross is this. One, two, three, four. Three, four. What did I do on this side here? One, two, three, four. All right. Just make sure they're even. So I'm just going to back this one off just a hair. And you can, again, measure this out, eyeball it. Okay. Just going to keep going. And the best way would probably be to measure it, mark it, measure it, mark it. Yeah, I'm not that person. Not this morning. The first time I did everything perfect on this. Remember, this is a remake of a video that, you know, I spent time making the video. This is one of those one take wonders because I am just very angry that my computer died and I have to redo this. I'm not angry about it. It's for my daughter, but okay. So once you get this ironed and you've got your four corners turned in, we're going to take it back over to the thing, to the machine. And we're literally just going to sew an edge. Now, how close that edge is depends on how much fabric you have here. Okay. You want to definitely make sure you catch that again. I, because I am using thin jute, just line it up with the edge of the foot and it will leave enough of a pocket that you can use jute. Um, you may want to adjust that to whatever you're doing. Okay. So let me take this over the machine. We'll make our final stitch. We'll get our uh, string in this and you will have a little flower bag. All right. So I actually start on the side that the um, opening is on. I put it in the middle and again I'm going to run it backwards and then go forwards and then we're going to turn at each of these corners. So here we go. Now you're going to pretend that Double material isn't there. Just get it as best as you can. I will say that the where you're intercepting the um, fold. It kind of plays with your eyes, so be careful. And you're kind of like, oh my gosh, that opening. Don't worry about the opening and how big it is. Just keep going, just like this. And the openings will happen, okay? And they will, what's more important is they'll happen where they're supposed to. Almost done here. There we go. All right, done with that. I'm gonna get my nippers, take this back to the table and show you what you got. Okay, so the last part of this is the same as the last back that we did. And do this. We're going to just push it through each one of those uh, flaps. All right, so there's the first one. Okay. 
The second one. Two more pull-outs. Make an extra string on there. I don't know where that came from. Okay. All right. And one more. Okay. So. Now I've got my string through there. We're literally going to take it and we're going to pull. And this is just a little flower pouch, whatever. And you can pull it as tight as you want or as loose as you want. Okay. To make this little opening here. So. There it is. You can put this got my strings a little long. But okay, there we go. And you have it, oops. If I tie it right, if I finish tying it. Okay, and then you've got your little flower pouch. Okay, so the first bag you did taught you just straight stitch and, and made a functioning item. This one taught you about lining things up, turning corners, uh, yeah, straightening out your stitch will come as you practice. So. Um, yeah, it's all about guiding it. So here's my little bag and I want to see what yours looks like.